Hi, I'm John Urschel, and we're at one of the best known ice cream parlors in all of North Texas. It's also a kind of laboratory where all sorts of delicious science goes on every day. So let's go inside. Beth Marie's is located in the historic downtown square of Denton. We're a 1950s style ice cream parlor. We use a memory Thompson ice cream machine to make all of our ice cream. Hi, I'm John. How's it going? Hi, John. Ken Willis. Hi, John. Bob Moses. Nice to meet you. So how much ice cream have you guys made? Best I can calculate is 1.9 million gallons. 1.9 million gallons. Yeah. And today we're going to get to look at some of the stem behind making ice cream? Absolutely. Gotcha. And I'm going to get to work with this machine a little bit today, right? Yes, you are. You've got good arms for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so show me the rest of the place. All right, come on, I'll show you. Go take a look. All right, let's see what's going on. So John, I'd like you to meet our area supervisor, Margaret Rich. Pleasure to meet you. Very nice to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks Very for having good. me. Absolutely. Welcome to Beth Marie's. So you guys are renowned in the North Texas area. Can you tell me about that? We have approximately 200 flavors at this time. 200? Yes, absolutely. The two gentlemen that own this place have earned it a lot. I think worked really hard to get it to where it is. And what's your favorite flavor? My favorite flavor is the chocolate covered cherry, which is one of our award winning ice creams that we won in 1998. So it's one of the flavors that I created. So it still oh. makes me happy that it's my favorite. And do you have a least favorite flavor or what do you? No, there is no, no least favorite. Now one that I wouldn't pick is rum raisin just because I don't know about raisins in my ice cream. Okay, I can, I can respect that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? You want to go make some ice cream? Absolutely, let's go make some. Let's do it. Okay, now how does this machine work? What is this machine called? This machine is called an Emory Thomas batch freezer machine. To make what just came out of here? Yes. What goes in? Oh, that would be a 14% ice cream mix. A 14% ice cream mix? A 14% butter fat ice cream mix. And what exactly is in this mixture here? My secret recipe. Your secret recipe? <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is your special scientific recipe. Yes, sir. Specifically engineered to yes. make sure your ice cream tastes delicious. Absolutely, sir. Okay, and what does it do besides shake? It gets to the temperature of 22 degrees. There's a barrel inside that machine and it okay. has what we call a dasher. A dasher looks a lot like this right here. Okay. Okay, so the dasher's going around and the walls are getting colder. As the walls get colder and this dasher turns, it pulls that milk off the machine, mm -hmm. which makes that liquid turn into a solid. Gotcha. And you said that you're making a five gallon batch here? Yes, right we now, are making a five gallon batch. But you batch. only need to put in 2.5 gallons of the mix. Yes, sir. And why is this? That's because we're adding 50% air to make it a fluffy premium product. Interesting. So the air added in adds volume to make Absolutely. it fluffy. Absolutely, yes. Once he gets that into the bucket, we're going to go ahead and take it over here to this side, and then we'll let you, if you'd like, stir in these cheesecakes oh, again. Oh, we're just swirling in the cheesecake. Yes, cake. we're swirling in the cheesecake. Oh, this is a, this is a little bit of an arm workout. It is an arm workout. Now, use it like a jab. Just kind of jab in, jab and in. there you go. Okay. I think we're ready to go ahead and move it over to the next box. Okay. So we pull the bucket over to this side. Okay. And then we're going to swirl in some fudge swirl. You take a little bit just like this, pour okay. it into the top. Would you like to help me out here? Yeah, absolutely. I'll let okay. you take over. Okay. Now just grab a little bit more out of the bucket and swirl it in. We're going to put all this fudge in that one box. Okay. You're a natural, John. Okay, and then once That's we're great. done with this procedure, what do we do with this liquid? This liquid's gonna go into a batch freezer that reaches the temperature of a negative 32 degrees below zero. Fahrenheit, again. Fahrenheit, yes. So this takes it from 22 to negative 30? Negative 32. Negative 32. Stays for 24 hours in that negative 32. That locks in your colors, seals your flavors, and pulls out a lot of the extra flavor that's in the product. After 24 right. hours, you can bring it out. You can't serve it until the next day because it's as hard as this table. Really? Being at a, at a 32 Fahrenheit, um, it's definitely too hard to serve. So we put it into this freezer here, which is our freezer that we hold at 10 degrees. Mm -hmm. And we're good with this box right here. And that is the process of making ice cream at Beth Marie's, everybody. Ready to go taste some ice cream? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. So thanks for having me here today. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. It's been awesome just to be able to see the ice cream lab and all the science and math that goes into making this delicious ice cream. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We, we have a good time when we make ice cream. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I guess the proof of the science is in the eating, it so sure we better is. have some. Absolutely. You know, good taste knows no season. Mm. This is delicious. This is a STEM lesson in a bowl. <laughs> we mm. just call it pasty. 